Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Arena Climb, and today we are going to be using a fantasy team. I feel like it's been a minute since we've actually gotten to use the fantasy characters, and it'll be fun to see, you know, if they've actually fallen off or if they're still really good. I don't know. It'll be... I, I, I haven't actually used a full fantasy team in a long time, so I think this will be a lot of fun. In case you do not know where we are at in the Ultra Arena Climb, we are in Expert 3. Today is the last day of being able to climb before the reset. We actually made it a bit further this time than we did last time so that's really nice so we won't reset all the way back to the bottom and we're getting a you know ever closer to legend there's just been a lot of stuff going on with the new climax battle and stuff like that that have kind of distracted from getting through ultra arena but i feel like we've done all right considering the teams we've been using to climb if you guys have checked out any of the previous videos for the ultra arena climb so we're going to be doing an easy a medium and a hard team today this is going to be the easy team that we take on with these fantasy characters with all that said let's get into this first match i do expect this first match to honestly be very easy because even though the fantasy characters are a little bit outdated the characters that this person is running i would say are even more outdated so hopefully and the battle power difference is just you know absolutely crazy all right we'll do all of these it's been a while since i've used most of these characters in pvp so this is gonna be fun zero damage on kirishima for that first hit nice love to see it sue's not gonna be able to hide anymore with the new search ability so like this is one of the last times we'll be able to use this team before the new bakugo probably Unless the, I assume the draw aggro still works, right? I don't know. It didn't say anything about ignoring aggro, right? So I assume Kirishima could still draw aggro. So you won't be able to target the hiding characters while aggro is being drawn, I'd assume. All right, we'll go ahead and use all of our plus ultras here. Oh yeah, we're gonna kill someone here. Easy, okay. And then there was just Hawks, easy peasy. And his evasion got taken away by our counter, oof. That's rough. Okay, so that was definitely, definitely an easy match. Obviously, Sue probably did the most damage. We have a pretty decent team right here. A tank, a healer, and a DPS on the team. So like, there are like a multitude of different teams you can build with fantasy characters. This is obviously not all of the fantasy characters that you can use. Um, I think for the next match, Dude, I kind of want to... Uh, this might be the hard match. This might be the hard match, but I kind of want to take on this team. Let's take a look at the battle log really quickly. So there's your damage. 147,000 from Sue, 77,000 from Kirishima, 52,000 from Jiro. But I kind of want to do this. It, it, it feels like it has to be done. So we might be skipping the medium match, going to the hard match, and then coming back to a medium match. But this team looks like a challenge. Fo 100% Deku, the Yayurozu celebration Yayurozu, the best arguably unit in the game uh celebration todoroki celebration bakugo and steampunk bakugo all on a team this is a very decent team setup that they have here so let's see how we do in comparison i'm a bit nervous oh boy here we go all right foe 100 is definitely the target first i would say are we we're gonna be slower uh okay we probably want to do this then draw aggro at the start because of that, that's gonna hurt so much. Did not miss my tap, which is great. Maybe I should have done the order a little bit differently there because they had the evasion. If I had done Jiro first, then Sue could have done a little bit more damage, but that's all right. All right, and we'll go... Oh, they're not gonna go first, actually. Oh, they are, what the heck? Okay, even with only two characters, all right, well. And he got bound, of course he did. Glad we went Pierce first there for the barrier. Did not get the Confuse either, oof. Alright, Kirishima. Tank for me. Yeah, we're, we're probably getting destroyed. This was definitely the hard match. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jiro's still alive somehow. Zero damage, okay. 54,000 damage. He is tanky, I will give him that. We're on turn four. If we don't do something soon, then we are going to be in trouble. Uh, yeah, we go like this. Mm -hmm. 
Fo 100 percent is about to become invulnerable next turn. We did not, we did not kill him in time. Oh, oh, that's so rough. Not even close to killing him in time. All right, well, I guess we shift our focus. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to kill anyone here. This is, yeah, a lot of healing, very tanky, and we might not just have the damage. We do get to see Fantasy Bakugo come out now, though, this match, so that's good. Of course, we did damage to the one person that doesn't matter. Keep in mind, we don't have a healer now, so this has uh, just got a whole lot harder. We'll go ahead and just do these two. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're we're in trouble. She did a lot though there. That's great. I still don't think it's gonna be, yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, the last stands, man. Okay. I can't afford to do this because Deku doesn't have a skill this turn, so we need to try to kill him. Please just die, man. There we go. Okay, one less plus ultra we have to take to the face. Alright, he can handle that. That's fine. Alright, now we need to go after Celebration Bakugo. Oof. We're still okay. We have a chance, potentially. Potentially, with Fantasy Deku being on the sub slot, we have a chance. It's a pretty low one, but it's a chance nonetheless. Oh no, he died. No, that's so rough. Okay. Um, we need to do a little bit of targeting here. Let's hope that works. No, he killed her. What a prick. And she evades this. Oh my gosh, everything went wrong that could have went wrong there. Okay, well, we put up a good fight in the end. It could have, It could have gone better. But it could have gone worse. We could have not killed anybody. At least we killed a couple of characters in their team. So I am happy with that. Yeah, fantasy characters are just, you know, destroyed. <laughs> destroyed by the newer characters. But 100% absolutely popped off. But we did, a, Sue did a decent amount of damage. Our sub slot characters did okay too. So I'm not super disappointed with that. Okay, now we'll take on a medium difficulty match. And this looks like the perfect medium difficulty match. There is the new movie Deku. We have the Dobby that never dies if he is able to get himself burning and we have compress on the enemy team for the healing like this actually might be a little bit of a challenge for us we do have 500,000 BP but I don't think that means a whole lot in terms of like kits kits matter a lot and the kits for these characters are actually fairly decent at the running even though they're all general pool characters I don't feel like I don't feel like Fo 100% should be a general pool character because he's absolutely insane like he's broken uh, we go like this we go like this and we go like this Get rid of that evasion. All right, and we got the healing up and going. Don't bind. Oh yeah, he can't bind because we have nullification first turn thanks to Jiro. That's why Jiro is still like, you know, top tier because first turn you can't get hit by status helmets, specifically against like Music Fest Kaminari. That's really, really good. All right, kill Dobby. Oh no, we missed. Okay, he's confused at least. That's solid. Hopefully he attacks himself or his teammate. Oh, he didn't even attack. Okay. He is burning already though. Oh no. Okay. Well, we can't kill him because he's burning. Uh, and we can only target him because he's drawing aggro. No! What have I done? Uh, see? Kits are annoying. None of this matters. Alright, well... He didn't take much damage, that's good. Yeah, we're good at least. At least we're not taking damage, you know, that's solid. Alright, we need to use AoEs here. Oh, Dobby will actually die, we're good. His burn went away, so he dies. And once again, I should have used a different order there because I did not realize that they had evasion because I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. Oh, and we got bound, no! Right, a little bit annoying, but I think it's still something we can work through. And they had evasion, nothing we can do about that.
Blue Endeavor to this day, I still love his character. He is very, very good. Uh, we'll do these. No confuse, okay. But he is built like a glass cannon, so if you can, you know, do some good damage, he'll die easily. Uh, of course, we got bound. <laughs> oh, man. That's so annoying. Okay. We go like this, then. Great. We killed Nagant. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Sue is still goaded. Oh, my gosh. We all got bound. No, no. That's so annoying. Is Compress going to hide himself? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Of course he did. All right, we go like this. This should work. Good thing Kirishima is such a phenomenal tank. And okay, the evasion coming through for that movie Deku, annoying. At least, yeah, he's tanking like a beast, man. At least we don't have to worry about that. Oh my gosh, quit binding, man. It's just annoying at this point. It's not even, ah, and he's hiding another character. No, it's just annoying. All right, we need, we need to kill, please. All right, he's dead. Let's go. All right, now we just have to deal with him. He's going to give evasion right here. That's fine, we'll get rid of one, the evasion right away. Okay, now we should finally, finally be able to kill him. Dude, he is tanky. All right, 99,000, last stand. Here we go, dead. There we go, that was the match. Sorry, my, uh, my computer and phone disconnected there for a second so you didn't get to see it transition screens, but we did get a perfect I am happy with that. I do want to take a look at the damage really quickly. So here are the damage numbers for that match. <laughs> Compress was popping off for them, man. We couldn't even, like, it was just annoying. Uh, 588,000 though for Sue, 118,000 for Jiro, and 169,000 for Kirishima. So you can see Sue's damage, still insanely good. Kirishima's tanking, still insanely good. And Jiro is still a really good healer. Out of the three, I would say Jiro is still technically the best in today's meta. But yeah, none of them, you're gonna, you're probably not gonna be able to run this team all together very often against like the top teams up near Legend and stuff like that but it was just a fun team to go down memory lane and try out if you guys have any other suggestions for teams let me know down in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the video please consider going down there hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching peace